Personally, I believe that children are special. In them are potentials yet to be tapped. And that is why I believe also that we need to reinvent the way we learn. Let's change the way children learn and do things differently. Next, please. Now more than ever, the whole concept of education and learning needs to be reinvented because the world is moving four times faster than the schools are growing. School should be a place for fun, more like a bunny and friends adventure. School should be the best party in town, says Peter Klein. Our aim is for the school to be the best, not a place for failure, a place where all children are recognized, their ideas, their talents, their creativity is brought forth to bear. Next, please. <laughs> Learning is the greatest game in life because we learn every day. We learn along with our friends, we learn from our parents, we learn from games, we learn from the environment. All children are born believing this until we convince them otherwise. We convince them that learning is very hard work and very unpleasant. And then we kill that spirit in them because every child is born to be a genius. But we convince them otherwise. For those of them that don't believe and still learn while having fun, we have a name for them and we call them geniuses. Exercising the mind and seeking knowledge and discovering the power of the brain is an obligation on every one of us. If you're a child out there, it is an obligation on you to exercise your brain and seek knowledge. Next slide, please. The brain has six pathways. We learn by what we see, what we hear, what we taste, what we touch, and what we smell. In addition to all these senses, is what you can imagine, what you perceive, and what you feel. So as a child, if you can imagine a story, perceive it, put your emotions into it, and write it, that makes you a genius, a genius in the making. I'm just going to share with you uh, the most vital age of development, which is from 0 to 10. And the reason is this. 50% of a person's ability to learn is developed in the first years of life. Another 30% is developed by its birthday. Those vital years lay down the pathways on which future learning is based. By 10, the branches in the brain that have not been connected are dead. Youngsters are their own best educators. That is why we learn more together when we are playing games. And teachers should be our facilitators. Our homes, beaches, greenlands, parks, everywhere in the community should be our school. Let us learn from the environment, not just the classroom. Simple physical routines can help develop a child further. That is why in the school curriculum, you need to include physical activity within the school, outside the school, including field trips or excursions to places where the kids can see for themselves how things are happening outside the world, and then it can motivate them to want to be in that industry or not. Learning, any, learning anything, including reading, writing, and maths, should be fun. And for the teachers, the six steps we need to consider is the right state. A teacher needs to be passionate and inspire passion in children. Because if you're passionate about what you're learning, you retain more. The presentation needs to be accurate. 
because we retain more of the visuals, that is what we see. Our teaching should come with illustrations for you to take home, share with your friends, and also use in school. We should encourage creative thinking, creative writing, creative problem solving skills. At this age, we should be able to teach children to solve problems on their own within the house and in the school. They should be involved in the decision-making process of our schools. That way, they have a feeling of ownership. We should activate them to draw more, paint more, develop their own teaching aids in collaboration with the teachers. We should be able to review, evaluate, and celebrate. To review and evaluate along with the student gives that student a feeling of ownership. He's taking responsibility for his or her learning. Celebrating makes us happy that we've achieved, we're succeeding. And then it gives us zeal to want to do more. My fantasy school is here already and it's located in New Zealand. This is a place I want you now to open your minds and imagine along with me. This is a place where all five-year-olds do computer animation. Six-year-olds compose stories on laptops. Seven-year-olds design their own websites. Eight-year-olds win online story competition with internet links to museums. Nine-year-olds design 3D animation to invent the ID school of their dreams. Ten-year-olds write, shoot, edit, record music for award-winning videos. Eleven-year-olds produce their own musicals. Twelve-year-olds make videos on how to make professional TV shows. There is no graffiti, no transy. In other words, no absenteeism in school. Students line up in school by 7 a.m. They press their own school reports on CD-ROM or duplicate them on videotapes. Is this possible? It is very, very possible. But we just need a model to operate with it. The Tahite Coast model, which I would love to see work in Nigeria, is such that we design schools from scratch that is directed towards self-inquiry and discovery. We carefully select a principal that is passionate about education and learning. I would want to inculcate it in students. <clears throat> principal chooses top quality staff committed to the school's philosophy and not bring in his cousins to come and teach along with him. We establish a grant to provide world-class IT resources. We, we plan computers, VCR, and multimedia tools to support the learning philosophy. We set up multiple intelligence centers that suit each learning style. These learning styles are this. For some of us, our learning style is visual, what we see. For most of us, it's what we hear. And some of us are kinesthetic learners. It's what we do that we remember more. We provide each teacher with a personal laptop and access to internet. We make every teacher a learner and every learner also a teacher. We build warm, personal, and multimedia homeschool reporting links where parents can go and they can see their child's academic performance and discuss with the child while viewing it online, for instance. We form business partnerships. And for them, they say they partner with schools around the world, from China to America. Imagine you're in your classroom, you're having your class, and you're having an interactive session with another child in China. You're making friends, you're sharing ideas, you're learning something new. Why should we reinvent the way we learn? It's because at the center of learning is self-esteem. It is a program for success, not for failure, and it is meant for everybody. You learn the lesson from the big achievers because if we are to set this, then we bring mentors, professionals in their fields to interact with the students and build them. 
and this concentrates on six vital ingredients, which are your physical safety as a child in the school, your emotional security. At that age, you're taught how to react based on your feelings. Your identity as a person. Who are you? What do you want to be? What is your future dream? Your affiliation. You build friendship. Not just with people in school, but with teachers. You build your competence in a field that you desire, be it music, uh, filmmaking, medicine, and you have a mission. This mission should be an overall big dream that you have, not just for yourself, but for your family, for your community, and for your nation at large. I'm going to read out this poem by Diane Lumans from Full Esteem Ahead. It's titled, If I Had My Child to Raise Again. If I had my child to raise again, I'd finger paint more and point the finger less. I'll do less correcting and more connecting. I'll take my eyes off my watch and watch with my eyes. I would care to know less and know to care more. I'll take more hikes and fly more kites. I'll stop playing serious and seriously play. I'll run through more fields and gaze more at stars. I'll do more hugging and less talking. I would be firm less often and affirm much more. I would build self-esteem first and the house later. I would teach less about the love of power and more about the power of love. Because loving yourself is the first thing for you to build your self-esteem. I want to learn whatever it takes for you to learn to be who you want to be. The new model <clears throat> is to make the impossible possible. And we're doing it already. By talking about it, we're doing it already. Thank you.